So guys, the ones that I've made still need a bit of time to dry and I've only got 18% battery left on my phone so it's gonna go soon. So I need to get on with it like now-ish. So I'm gonna use some of the ones that I made a couple of days ago, some of these ones and then some ones that I've already shaped. But I'll do a couple of these just so you can, so you can see how I shape them. Actually, I've just creamed my hands. I don't know why I've just creamed my hands when I'm about to use the ball tool. It's going to be slipping all over the place now. Oh, first world problems, eh? But we'll make it work. I'm um, just thinking of what configurations I want. We'll do a couple and then we'll see what goes together. So depending on if, whether you want it to curl and have the colour on the outside, if you want the colour on the inside, would, would um, determine what side you what side you do it on. Just checking it's dried. Yeah, that's properly dried on there. I usually have a smaller tool. I'm not sure where it is. That's slightly thinner. That gives you a really good scrinch because it's quite tiny. So it, oh, there it is. Found it. Okay, this one. So it gives you a really good scrinch because it's so small. As you can tell, I can't. I don't know what the technical words for these are. I just call it scrunching. Okay, I want it to turn up, be up like that. Yeah. And I'm cutting these just a bit deeper so that when it curls up, it can really curl all the way up rather than be restricted because it's been held down. As long as you're using a good quality cardstock, you don't have to worry about this ripping. You can see I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. I'm just going around the outside. So you can either do it like that or you can just do lines all the way up. The best thing to do is just experiment with different ways of doing it because then you'll find a way for different petals and getting a different result each time. So that's what I've just done is just sort of experimented with different ways of doing it. So you can see it's gone all the way up there. I want it to go up a bit more. Just swing it around the corner, see it's going round and it's it's coming close to the together, the arms are coming closer together. I love the way that looks inside there. What I'm gonna do is just add a bit of polish on the outside. That nice just a bit of polish on the outside being attacked by a fly at the moment <laughs> so that's what the camera's moving that's lovely yeah i'm liking that Cute, that? So that's how you shape them. So that's how you just do the rest as well. I don't have any beads with me because I think a little bead in the middle would have been just the cutest thing. So what I'm going to do is just put that in the middle so that gives it a bit more definition. So I'm going to have those two. Be that one. Okay. I'm put this polish away before I put it over every single thing. Right. I realise I didn't bring my actual pokey tool with me, but I've got a little substitute here, these little sticks. So what I'm planning to do is put a wire through it. I love these wires. I discovered them a few days ago. Well, maybe about two weeks ago, I think. And they're so useful. 
in giving the flowers lots of lovely angle so I've been using them quite a lot usually I'd have like a little head on the top but obviously I've got to be in the kitchen for it so I don't have it so I'm just sort of doing it like that and I'm going to put glue look I've really <laughs> you can see how much I've scrunched that one <laughs> Oh dear. Mm, I'm trying to push it, trying to push it. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so this is not how I'd usually do it, but I'm outside. So I am just. Okay, this one's just falling apart completely. I did a lot of scrunching with that one. <laughs> you can tell I properly scrunched that one. So. I'm just going to use a different one now. Every time I move my arm, it comes out of focus. Okay, just going to use that. Okay, and then when I put the blue on top, actually, I didn't think this screw did I? This takes quite a long time to, to, um, to set. We'll see how it goes. Bit of the old pin flare glue. Fla I can't even speak now. Pin flare glue. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so pretty. That is so pretty, guys. Look at that. <sighs> right, let me do another one. That is really pretty. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright, let's do another one. Shall I like the way that looked when it just switched up there? Yeah, I like that. That's very nice. Look at that. And it just went all of that together. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. Okay, so I'll put another one on. Uh, it was this one I was going to put on top. Like that. I did that at the wrong angle there, I should have done it. That's better, just to cover up the green. That's really lovely, look at those. I'll do one more for you to see. I'm just keeping an eye on my battery as well. <laughs> so I feel like I'm racing against the clock. This is crazy. Just sort of crimping the clock a little bit. How pretty that is. You know I've got to start here for free from the start. Right, so I'm going to go and make, and make the rest of them now. So when I come back, you're going to see me um, putting them in the floor, see what they look like. <laughs> 